Hey there, Brian. Amy here. I spoke to Shayla and she said I could send this video over to you, so here it is. I'm a local business owner just like yourself and know that after COVID did its thing, business is picking back up for many. I'm going to show you what you can do to get more predictable and steady flow of customers. I'm pretty much going to explain to you three things that you can do today to really bring value to your company and start getting more customers through your door, okay? Often local business owners like yourself are too busy running your business to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company, and sometimes the only hesitation that you guys have to hiring somebody is they don't really know who is an expert and who isn't. I found that people giving people an easy free attack plan of actual things that you could do to impact your business has resulted in some of those business owners raising their hands and saying, I like you, Amy, please do this for me. So if by the end of this video, Brian, you like what you heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help you with your business, shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video, you simply want to take this free attack plan that I'm giving you and do it yourself, that works for me too. The very first thing I want to go over is your website and what we call content. When someone searches for, let's say, Plumbers Arlington Text, Google crawls websites on the internet, searching and ranking the sites. It's looking for keywords. It's looking for what should this site be found for. So when we go through here, I see you have some nice photos on your site and a beautiful layout. I see a little bit of content, but not a whole lot of content. One thing I can tell you about Google is Google loves content. Um, so Google likes to see about 2,000 words on your front page. And we're looking at right now with your site is we're probably sitting at about 1,300 words on this page. Now, adding 700 words of content with keywords that you're trying to target is going to help you get found for these keywords. We'll talk a little bit more about keywords here in a second. But not only does Google just look at your site, but when Google comes into your site, they can't tell what they should be ranking you for if you don't have keyword specific things on here. What does that mean? Well, let's look at a competitor here. So when I looked up Plumber Arlington Text, these guys came up. And let's see, when we start scrolling through their website, we see content here, pictures. They have about 1,900 words on here. Very beatable in terms of content. So what does all this mean? Well, this right here is a tool I use called Arefs. It allows me to see every keyword you're ranking for, how much traffic you get into your site. And we can see here that you're getting found for 103 keywords and you're getting 69 people a month to your website. So when we jump in here and we look over, there's your website. When we jump over to competitor's website, we see that they're getting found for 173 keywords, right? And when we go in, let's see, oh, and they're getting found for 68 keywords, sorry. And they're getting 173 people a month to their website. So when we jump in here and we look at some of these keywords, let's just see a few of them. Plumber Arlington Text, they're sitting on the number one position on that keyword. Plumber's Arlington Texas, 60 clicks a month and they're also sitting on the number one position for that one. Uh, here's one more I'll shoot out. Plumbers Arlington Text. This is with a double, you know, with a S, okay? 200 clicks a month. They're sitting on position three on that one. So those three keywords alone is over 300 clicks a month that you're missing out on. All right, so the next thing we need to do is go and find what we call backlinks, okay? So that's after we do the first thing of getting the right content on your site and getting the right keywords on there. So what are backlinks? Backlinks are pretty much, let's say another plumbing site from Arlington, Mansfield, or even Florida. It just needs to be in your kind of field. Plumbing. Linking back to your site, saying that you're the most popular one here. So the way that Google works, it's like a popularity contest back in high school, right? The more sites we get linking into your site, the more popular it tells Google you are, and the more they want to rank you for these keywords. So we need to go out and we look at your competitor here. We see that they have just six referring domains linking back to their site. So we have to beat it, and not all backlinks are created equal, right? So like getting a link from Starbucks linking to you is not going to be as powerful as a home improvement or supply company or something like that linking back to you to tell Google that you're relevant, you're in the right niche, and you're popular. That's what we want to go after, okay? So we have about six referring domains. We don't want to get the same amount as them when it comes to links. We want to beat them by doubling their amount, or in this case, you're, you're going to want to get a whole lot more just because it's not easy for people to catch up once you're Tra you know, once they're trailing behind you, okay? So, and we also need to have quality links with power to really start beating out the competition to outrank them and to take that traffic. And then last but not least, I want to talk to you about the third thing we need to go get, and that's what we call citations. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the map pack before. That is right here. 
Now, right below that is called organic. Now, I looked and found your company on page two at number eight. So keep in mind that the top three organically ranked sites on Google, they're going to take 80% of the traffic. So to get to the top of organic, we've got to get those keywords up. We've got to get all the links coming into your site. And then to get into this map pack right here, we have to go after those citations. And a citation is your name, address, and phone number throughout the web on as many directories as possible. And a directory is like Yelp, Yak, CityStar, all those directories that are out there, we want to get your business listed on them. It tells Google that you're legit. So I put you in this tool and you had about 38 citations and your competitor who's beating you had 83 citations. My recommendation is to go out and triple their amount. This will take you about 20 minutes per citation. So when you come into the map pack and you click on view all, this is for Plumbers Arlington Techs. Let's see, I found you on page two at number 22. So the goal is to be right here in the top three because that is where 20% of the clicks on Google are going to go to on the map pack. So once again, we went over content. We got to get the content on your site. You've got a beautiful looking site, but we got to get the keyword relevant content. Then once we have that, we want to go after those backlinks, right? Let's see right here. We want to go after these backlinks. Got to get the backlinks up, start driving traffic to where you're getting several hundred people a month to your site. And once we have that, we want to turn around, we want to go after those citations, right? So those are the three things that I think if implemented today, it's really going to get you found on Google and drive more customers to your business. I've only shown you one competitor and one keyword search. There are dozens of buyer intent keywords for the, con I mean, for the plumbing industry that we could capture the traffic of hundreds of clicks per month that you aren't getting. So what now? Well, you can either go with this information I provided you and do this on your own, and I'm totally cool with that. However, if you want the most effective route, you want to save yourself time, you can give me a call, and here's my information right here. Amy Bachelor, and then there's my cell. It's 979-709-1593. If you guys do utilize these three steps I gave you today, you will be ranking on Google, you will be bringing in more customers, and you will be making more money. So don't take this with a grain of salt. Make sure you actually implement what you learned here today, and it's definitely going to help you move forward. So if you want to if you want to know more about us, you can look us up on my website. It is lodestarseo.com or once again, you can call me directly on my cell number. Brian, I'm looking forward to following up with you to get your thoughts. You have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.